Hello everyone and welcome back to what may be the last episode of Hot Tin Roof. It's been a long crazy journey of exploding yum, murdering blind mouses, and talking cats and just a whole bunch of craziness. But I do think we're finally coming to an end here. Also, the reason I start here is I got excited prematurely last episode. I thought I got the arrest warrant, but it seems like I got the wrong arrest warrant. But I do have all the means ready to get our buddy Frankie out of jail. So this is what we're going to talk to the chief about. So we got to talk about the case, get an arrest warrant. And then for the hiring of the blind mice. So now Chief says, Look, Jones, I'm not issuing a warrant for Frankie. I think they said this previously, but yeah, basically he's saying he's not getting a warrant. But so now we gotta prove that we got, you know, all the necessary evidence that it's not Frankie. So I've got a memo for Button Bunt. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. So you figure Button got a motive. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Button wasn't fixed. Chief, actually, did we ever find out that Button is Frankie's mom? No wait, Frankie's is Button. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Now we're cooking. Tell me you've... I feel like there's a word chopped off here. You've got opportunity. Um... I found a sign receipt. Yes, okay. Now, well done, Joes. Here's your warrant for Button Button. I want you to hand deliver this one to her and tell her hi from me. Will do, chief. Oh, and before you do it, use it to get go get your partner out of lockup. She would have missed this for the world. Hell yeah, she would have missed this for the world. I'm getting Frankie out of jail. So let's see. Which one was it? It was... What the heck is it? I think it's this one. Complicity arrest warrant. This is the arrest warrant issue in the case of the hiring of the blind mice gang. So it's commit death, murder, and an assortment of other crimes. So a name's Button Bun as the perpetrator of the blah, blah, blah Okay, whatever. She's been a bad, bad kitty. Bad, bad kitty cat. Now I'll get freaky out of jail. And then we're gonna go arrest her booty. Freaky, I'm here! No speaking to the prisoner. But I got an arrest warrant, man. Stand back from the prisoner, Jones. Don't make me use my gun. If you're the same gun as me, I'm assuming it's all duds. So, ease up, pips. P pips, look. Because it says looky, 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 looky here. Oh, thank goodness. I'm not cut out for this guarding business. No heart for it. I've been slipping her treats this whole time. That's why we like you, pips. Look at that guys, I got my buddy Frankie back. Okay, now we gotta go. Wait, hold on. I get out of here. Now we gotta go. Let me say it really quick. We gotta go arrest Button Bunt. I can't believe wait was is she a white cat? I don't know, I was really wasn't paying attention to what color they are this whole time. It is kind of weird how they don't have Frankie say any dialogue like once they get her out of jail, but whatever it goes. So I guess I gotta use the rest warrant clue again. Complicity rest Yeah, this is not a white cat, right? So I'm guessing Adrian was just like making stuff up to frame Frankie. Because it really doesn't make sense. Oh, you again. You're still gonna get in. Dude, I have a freaking rest warrant. Oh, really? Check this out. Oh bother, one moment, let me read that. <laughs> I was say, investigators eye eggs, oh I don't know what that means. It says you're a butt. <laughs> Fine, I'll open the door for you, but I still don't like you. Her feelings mutual, I want to say this instead, right back at you pal. No one ever seems to like us, why not? We're just, you know, private investigators doing our best this. Oh, I see those suspicious looking lights. Can you light them here actually? Or is it like another one of those switches? Ding ding. No, ding ding. I guess not. Hmm. 
Man, everything's still the same. Oh, I, I just saw one of those. So this, I believe I wasn't able to get less. I don't even remember what was here last time. It's been so long. Cool. Immoral monetization in the blah 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 safe memos and Shelly Bunt. Fully aware of the weapons and then... Okay, she was legal arms dealing. That's Shelly Bunt. And then... I guess she and her cat are both involved in this. Just an entire conspiracy, man. Okay, we gotta go. Light the rest of these... Whatever these are. Torches? Man, this house is huge. But no one's here, strangely. Light. And nothing here. Wait, no, this way. Light this up. One more. It's deserted, boss. Ain't nobody around. But no way they walked out the front door. I'm thinking panic room? Uh... Where do we start? Okay, boss, we gotta think. What do we have now that we didn't have last time we were here? We was here. Frankie, we have a lot of stuff that we didn't have last time. What can we use to find hidden stuff? Open doors, you know, that kind of thing. Um, bubble rounds? No, actually we had bubble rounds last time we were here. So gum stuff, grapple stuff, what am I forgetting? Fire stuff, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff. There's gotta be an entrance around here we can unlock. And it won't take leave in the penthouse, I'm sure of it. Good, Frankie, good. Excelente. Nothing here. I'm ignoring those because I'm pretty sure we opened those. Uh, those are, you know, the hidden switches that we found last time. Okay, there's a light here. That was easy, we opened it. And... Don't think there's anything here. We've been here already. So I wonder if that means... Shelly Bunt killed her... Who was it? Father? Because of the will, whole will thing? Or is that like totally irrelevant? Because the whole this whole case started because... She said the will was stolen. So I'm just very confused. Okay, we're in some like weird inner sanctum. Also, what the heck are you going here? Like, let's do this first. Oh, I see. All right, let's save. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Okay, there's some door here. What is this? Oh. Is this just like one huge trap? Goodbye. Oh my god, what the hell has this inside the house? I am not gonna like this, I tell you. I hate it already. I actually can't grab- no, I can't grab. I just have to grab onto it, right? Um... Gosh, this is gonna be freaking hard. Ah, oh, jeez. I was afraid of that. Oh. oh my god, can wear belts really? Oh jeez, I accidentally hit myself too much and I... Oh god, I hate these. I hate these so much. Oh no, no, too, 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 too early. Goodness. I really suck at that. Oh, wait, I'm still going up or go down? Okay, switch. Oh. Really? Who installs this inside their house? Inside their house. Oh, okay. Good. I didn't fall to my death. Oh great, now I gotta go back across this thing. Oh jeez. Dangerous, too dangerous. Oh my god. 
I oh crap. I really don't like this. Oh, thank god for that healing flower. Okay. Weird, but oh my god. Dude, their house is like designed in the way of every area that you visited. I really hate it. Oh no, what just happened? Okay. Oh, white. All white. Crap. Don't like this. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. I'm gonna freaking die from, like, just pure stupidity. Wait, is there a bathroom somewhere around here? Like, really close, I mean. I actually have to go all the way out. Well, should I do it? Just in case. I don't want to die. Yeah, it's just right here. Good. Excellent. Uh, was that the last door? Hold up. Which one am I missing? It actually doesn't tell me which one I'm missing. Probably just this last door. Oh, 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 that's gonna suck. Oh no, wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, Frank, you got crushed. Wait, what? How much do I do this then? Huh? Oh my god, this is be another puzzle. Okay, when the rock goes up, the door closes. Oh, maybe I just. Can I just knock. knock. like knock back it? Nah. Oops. Oh jeez, I got crushed. Hmm. Ah, yeah, I really don't know. Goodness, I think that really was the only way to do it. That's a terrible plan. Oh wow. How's all this? Um... Okay... I need a gum here. Oh, jeez, I got stuck. That was dumb. That was terribly dumb. I was just trying to change it to knockbacks, you know, so I can knock myself out of here. Oh, wait. Huh? I thought that's what the switch was for. Unless the gum disappeared. Really, dude. Wait, what? What the hell's going on? Oh, jeez. Did I flip the switch or something? What the hell? Oh, it's timed. Um... Okay, so maybe I should put the gum in and then flip the switch oh come on oh my god this is the hardest thing ever oh jesus christ i freaking swear dude Okay, I, I'm just gonna go back and save <laughs> one more time. Wait, why isn't this door open? I thought I flipped the switch, didn't I? Oh my god, this game is confusing the crap out of me. Do something here? Gum. Going crazy. Why is there gum here? Yeah, this was a flitch. A uh, flitch. Switch is flip. Yes. So what the heck is going on? This one that's not fired up yet. 
Did I forget to flip something? No. Oh, it was this door, right? Ugh. I came in and I just left. I was being dumb. So... Do I just flip these switches? That would suck. Cause it, wouldn't it just... Hold on. Ah, fine. I guess I gotta do it. Let me flip this one. Exactly. That's what I would imagine would happen. Flip the switch and die again. Oh jeez. It hit me anyway. Hold your horsies. Oh jeez. Are they really expecting me to like... Oh, you know what? Maybe... I should pu I should pull that lever. And then... Grapple. That might be able to pull me... Across. Also, why the hell is this thing out here? Jeez. Themselves at their freaking place, so let me flip and then it didn't work, dude. Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe I do need a long grapple. Damn it, dude. Okay, guys, I, I tried a long grapple thing and it did not work, and apparently. I totally cheated for this because I could not figure it out. It says you have to use bubbles. Gosh, I'm a freaking idiot. Oh my god. Like, that's really annoying, to be quite honest. I'm just too stupid for these puzzles, you know. Okay, why the final save before the final showdown? Hope you're ready to get rest of Shelly blunt. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it hanging? Oh look, if it isn't Investigator Jones and Frankie? Oh my, so I guess you made bail, eh? Too bad about these those charges. Good luck in court. I thought we have evidence. Why are these investigators here? Button, have they found the will? Oh no, I seriously doubt that. In fact, I expect they don't have any evidence at all. Damn, you are arrogant. Um. Oh damn, do I gotta like, prove it now? So. Damn. So I gotta. What do I even get first? They didn't. Complicity more needs such warrant. I have an arrest warrant, is that like evidence? Okay, it's not letting me like ask any about it. No point giving an arrest warrant, right? What how did this is are you seriously for real? The arrest warrant is the evidence? Well I guess, okay. Oh, we forgot to mention the warrant. There's no way you could have this. It is impossible. The evidence. It was all carefully masked, hidden. Layers of separation between me and the deed. What the heck is this? We... We... Who the heck are these people? We... I don't even remember. We know about the death. Yeah, not smart. You robbed from yourself. Ended up wrong-footing Shelly in the process too. Classic villains tripping each other up due to their selfish divergent desires. Good job on that one. You stole the will? Oh, so you didn't know. Your little kitty cat was plotting against you. Well, not me. I hired some sad saps I met at the clinic, but I had to. Flynn wanted kittens. And if you ever found out about us, I knew. Wait, so Flynn is the cat that you have some kind of like relationship with or something? You aren't fixed? What is going on? Um, I guess I should talk about these because they'll give more information, so... We also know about Leo. Yeah, poor kid. He helped you out back when the old man Edward Bunt sent you in to get fixed, looked the other way, and even convinced Edward to keep quiet about it for you. Then you had him killed. Couldn't even trust a poor college kid to stay quiet? I like this music. Very detective-y. <laughs> it, it wasn't like that. I'm rich. You don't understand. We have risks. What if he blackmailed me? 
What if he gone to the media? You poor just don't. My father knew you weren't fixed? Oh yeah, that's why he little had to go, you know? Old man probably felt bad and wanted to make sure someone knew after he was gone. Kind of makes you wonder. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about the clinic. The clinic had records that you were a patient, and Leo worked there, so those had to go. If you hadn't forgotten the records down in Old World, maybe that would have kept you clear. But you just had to try and drop this on me too. Yeah, Frankie ain't pleased with being accused. You abandoned me, Frankie, and I can't forgive you for that. Pulling the strings to get you the hat, having you under my thumb as a past investigator? That wasn't enough. You had to suffer. Hey, she earned the hat, button, button. <laughs> they ain't right, boss. Sure, button, you helped me avoid the social prejudice against cats, but that's it. I'm a darn fine investigator, with or without your help. I feel like us here now kind of proves that, you know? And the last one is Alden. I honestly don't know who these people are. <laughs> it's adorable, really. You exploited your family's connections to get Alden to do your dirty work, while Shelly was leaning on Alden to work for her, too. We're gonna trip each other up again. That was great. Alden was ruined either way, and he knew it. You can't prove anything about me, you know? This is just about Button, of course. I'm pretty sure we have evidence on you, too. One thing at a time, ma'am. Okay, so we got to talk about this. So, in conclusion... Button, Button, you're under arrest for conspiracy to commit murder, grand larceny, breaking and entering, and goodness only knows what else when we seize anything in this penthouse that looks even remotely interesting or valuable. You're a bad kitty, Button. A bad, bad kitty. I hope you know what this means we won't lift a finger in your defense. Damn. Turn and backstabbing like... I'm not really backstabbing, I'm more like abandoning right away. Whoa, whoa, hold up. These are two different options. You're free to go. Shelly, you're going down too. You don't possibly have any evidence on me. Why? I haven't done a thing wrong. You know for what this is all Button's doing. Um... Hmm, we know a Button's own high table. Well, that hardly proves anything. It is illegal to own a business now, is it? I assure you, all my dealings were above board. I simply needed the will to have a public ownership, is all. It's a complex business thing, you see. You sort wouldn't understand. We also found the memos to Adrian. That, that is impossible and preposterous. Even if you had such a thing, you're still lacking sufficient evidence to get a warrant, I suspect. So your dress are too, but damn, didn't I get a rest warrant for her? Ooh, this is awkward. Hey, let's say a kitten had the remaining evidence you needed. Call it as the smoking gun. Linking Shelly to the illegal arms manufacturing going on at that high table. Would that kid get immunity? Mmm. As they keep talking, it can't hurt. Yeah, let's talk at the depot. Once my lawyers work out an acceptable plea. I don't think you'll have any trouble getting a warrant on Shelly. You miserable little backstabber. Oh, I love this. Hey, whoa, let's all calm down. We can go have a nice chat at the depot. All of us. Come on, Shelly. We'll find you a nice, filthy cell to wait in. Way to go. Now I want to say this. Again. We did it, Frankie. We did it. Couldn't have done it without you. Could What? Couldn't have done it with your best. Couldn't have done it with oh, you, Frankie, too. Okay, oh, what's this? The blind mice were sentenced to two years in a minimum security facility. The only charges that could be made to stick were those of petty larceny, as the literal cash value of a written will is effectively nil. Getting away with crime- of getting away with murder and molded them, leading to the life of crimes numerous and far worse. They met their end in a shootout during the heights of Timur's most heavily guarded bank till they dead? Oh, look at these mouses with their gigantic guns. Ah, oh, so cute. From the case files, I mean, yeah, it just, I didn't click anything. Shelly Bunt's defense name Adrian as the one ultimately directing the legal arms manufacturer. In response, Adrian produced documents showing Shelly had ordered not only the arms research, but also the cost-cutting measure to incorporate toxic waste into their consumer-facing products. This torpedoed his career as a CEO, but got him off with a six-month sentence only? He now wears t-shirts and suspenders, and his most beloved hobby is bowling. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Bun went on to be the star witness in the case against Shelly Bun. Okay, thanks to Button's candid testimony, Shelly was sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole and was stripped of all assets and holdings related to High Table or its illegal arms manufacturer. Button received a reduced sentence of 5 years, served 2, and walked out of the prison's case into the arms of Flynn. And that's usually how prison sentences go, who against all odds had waited for her. Damn, true love, guys. They went out to have multiple litters of alley kins and between- uh, God, these go by too fast. Despite bustling down the doors of Egg, 
and harassing influential was, we caught the blind mice to save our jobs, if only by the bearers of threats. We took on bigger cases from there, but it never said right with us that Shelly and Bud had walked yeah, same. Still, we were investigators, and my partner was my best friend in the world, and that ain't half bad. Alright guys, happy ending, I guess. I like it better if these were in time and let me, like, pick them to go. You don't know my reading speed game. Three D artist all. Oh, I love this. I really do like this art style. Those very like. I just love their like their eyes, the way they stare into your soul. Oh, this Kickstarter game. That's cool. Oh well, that's nice. Garbage and salt. I don't know what that's all about. Thank you for playing. Jump key to return to the menu. Wait, jump key? Oh, it's jump key. Boom, boom, boom. Right, all right, guys. That was the end to Hot Tin Roof. I would want to say it was kind of satisfying. Once you get to the end, you actually find out who the, the, the villains, I guess, the villains are. But... Ah oh, yeah, I do have to say this game was quite frustrating in so many ways. Like, I, I feel like maybe I'm too dumb for these puzzles, but I feel like the developer and I are just at, on different wavelengths, and I never quite understand what the next step is. Like, there's not. I feel like there's not enough like direction, so you never know what you're supposed to do next. I feel like a lot of times I've just come kind of wandering, looking for clues, and the clues don't. Well, they don't. They never quite tell you like what clues you're supposed to look for. Or at least that's how I feel. So it just, I just felt really lost most of the time. But of course, I don't want to. I don't want to make it sound like I hated this game because I really did like, like the characters and like the dialogue. Dialogue was like really silly, and although it was also kind of like funky at times because it was like. Talk. Like, it, it repeated dialogue, for one thing. The people would just keep talking, like... Like, you know, almost out of context, I want to say. But... Aside from the clunky dialogue, I think it's really nice. Because it was really silly, and... There's a lot of relationships that could have been explored further, I guess. Because I don't think... Well... They kind of hinted at, like, Frankie's history and also... The whole thing with Susie Cube, so, you know, there was something going on with that. Too bad we didn't get to explore further, because you know, she did say, you know, don't come back until you get Frankie out. Oh, maybe I could have talked to her after I got Frankie out. Damn. God, I missed that. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I did, even though it was crazy frustrating at times. And uh, I don't know what's the next thing I'm gonna do after this, but in any case, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.